Hi friends, welcome to First Studies YouTube channel. Uh, with this video, I am starting Azure PowerShell playlist actually. So in this playlist, we will discuss about like um, how we can work with Azure resources using PowerShell. Okay. So the first step will be how we can install Azure PowerShell in our local. Okay. So if you guys don't know what is PowerShell, I have a playlist called PowerShell in my Wafa Studies YouTube channel. Please go there and watch that playlist because we should know little bit of PowerShell or to understand this playlist or these videos. So that playlist help you how to get PowerShell locally, what is PowerShell meaning, what kind of consoles you will have in local to interact with PowerShell, what is command length, uh, how, what is module meaning, right? There are few things which is needed as a basic to understand about PowerShell. So it was all explained in that PowerShell playlist. So please check that and then only watch this Azure PowerShell playlist to get a more idea. Okay. So in this video, as I said, let's focus on how to install Azure PowerShell. I will give you a quick idea theoretically. So generally right, if it is your system, imagine. So in your system, you will have some OS, right? It can be Windows, it can be Mac OS or Linux. Okay. Uh, on top of that Windows, we have to install something called PowerShell locally. Okay. So once you install this some PowerShell in your system, from that point of time, you can interact uh, with your system also using PowerShell commands. Okay. You can write some commands like how you write in command prompt uh, in the PowerShell and that commands perform certain tasks for you. Okay. Uh, now, uh, whenever you want to work with something. So imagine PowerShell is like a programming language for now. Like it's a scripting language. Imagine like PowerShell language. Uh, uh, sorry, like a programming language. So let's assume you have a C-Sharp okay, language or you have a Python language. So what will happen in these languages is, uh, let's assume you want to interact with uh, SQL tables. Okay, in your program, you want to write a code to interact with the SQL tables. So then generally what will happen, uh, there will be some libraries in C sharp or in Python that will help you to interact with the SQL tables. So we no need to invent the code completely, right? Uh, there are some libraries already in Python or in C sharp might be available. We need to find them and then install them in our local and in our local program of C sharp or Python start use that. So that way there will be some inbuilt classes and functions that will directly help you to interact with the SQL tables. The same way, when it comes to the Azure Cloud, right? When it comes to the Azure Cloud, uh, there are some modules in PowerShell, like how we call it, uh, like libraries in the C Sharp or Python. Same way here we call them like a modules. Module means like set of commands. Uh, every command is like a function. Imagine that way. Every command will have do some task. Okay. So now when you are working with Azure Cloud. You may create resource group, you may create resources, you may maybe update some resource, delete some resource, lot of things you do, right? So do, to do all that, there are some commands or functions you can say indi indirectly. There are some commands in PowerShell already developed and all that commands put together created a module and that module is called AZ, okay? So there is a module called AZ which we have to install locally and that module will contain so many commands that will help you to work with Azure resources. So step one will be installing this AZ module, which is called Azure PowerShell module and current version, I think it is 11.5. Okay. And to install this AZ module in our PowerShell locally, right? Our local PowerShell should be PowerShell 7 or above. So because that is what recommended. Okay. Make sure you use PowerShell 7 or higher version in your local then install this AZ PowerShell command. Okay. And to install, we have to go through this particular command. So when you do this, uh, this will help you to install it. But first, let's make sure what is there in our local. And if it is not PowerShell 7, let's try to get that. So for that, right. So I am going to this start and uh, simply type here PowerShell. When you type here PowerShell, you see so many things. PowerShell console, PowerShell ISC. All these things we have explained in the PowerShell playlist. So let me open any one here. So let me click here and let me search PowerShell once again and uh, let's open this PowerShell. Okay. So I'm opening PowerShell here. Okay. Uh, let me do one thing. So once I open PowerShell here, so let me 
try to clear the window okay so now uh, let me zoom this little bit if i can okay so now right uh, so this is a powershell so first thing is i have to understand uh, what is the version in my local i have okay so for that there is a uh, uh, system uh, variable available in the powershell which is called ps version i can hit the tab here okay that will auto complete dot then again i can hit the tab or what i can do is control space if i hit the control space right it will give all the options whatever available okay uh, one second so let me hit the control space here see when i hit the control space it is giving under this ps version table we can use either count is flexed size there are a lot of properties so i am concerned about using this ps version property so i will use ps version okay and uh, when i hit enter now you can see that now it is showing what is the version available so in my local i have powershell major version 5 but as i said we should have uh, like powershell version 7 or above because that is a recommended one to install the azure powershell module which is az okay so how to get that powershell version 7 so for that right uh, i will provide these links in the uh, in the local in the description of this video as well so actually right you can navigate to install powershell on windows link or you can search in the google also it will directly take here i will provide the link also in the description of the video so if you come down here there are a lot of ways to install it but we will follow this msi one so i can download this msi 64 bit one so i am hitting that and once the download complete i can start installing the powershell version 7 in my local uh, using this msi application so let's wait for the installation to complete you see here the sorry download to complete you see here download is in progress i think download completed okay so you can see here under downloads folder i have this powershell msi downloaded so let me double click that and start installation of the powershell version let us 7 that is version 7 so i hit the double click now so let's wait for this msi to open up here okay so it came up so i will simply hit next next i will just follow this okay so enable powershell remoting click that next next and hit the install button so this is to start installation in couple of uh, seconds or minutes your installation should complete let's wait for the installation to complete here okay so installation is happening it let's wait for it to open great installation completed let me hit this finish to complete the installation now what i can do in my local i can search for the powershell once again and i should see powershell 7 as well you see there powershell 7 is there so let me click that to open powershell 7 and let's wait for that to open here okay, you can see that powershell 7.42 is loading it here so now here right so let me execute the same one see ps version table dot ps version okay so i can directly take that command dot ps version okay so when i hit enter you can see that now i have powershell version 7 in my local okay so once we have powershell version 7 now we can install the az module which is the module contains all the commandlets to work with the azure resources and if i go to the documentation you see this documentation from the azure powershell documentation we you see that install windows menu so this is where they have listed how you can install azure powershell on your windows system again you can search this google directly the same link will appear on the top or i will be providing this link in the description of the video as well okay so if you scroll down here right we have just now uh, seen what is the version of our powershell okay by executing a same command so now let's do one thing let's scroll down and uh, let's take this uh, uh, installation you, you see this uh, this is the command to run to install the powershell module so what this command is doing it here you see that install module it's the commandlet uh, that will ins install any module so we are telling install this az module with the name okay we are using a name parameter and giving a value called az to it and telling that install az module from where we have to install from the repository called 
PowerShell gallery. So generally uh, for Python, you will have pip, right? Using pip, you will install the um, uh, modules or libraries. For C Sharp, you have something called NuGet package manager, right? Same way for PowerShell, right? Uh, there is a repository called PS gallery where most of the modules will be available. Uh, we can install them from there actually. So let's try to copy this command and let's try to run this command in the PowerShell now. So let's go back here and let's try to paste this. So install module, then name az, then repository from the PS gallery and I'm using a force installation. So when I hit enter, it should start installing the PS, uh, that az module, that uh, Azure PowerShell module from the repository called PS gallery. So let's wait for the installation to complete here. You can see that installation is happening. It is installing so many packages. So we have to wait this process to complete. It will take a couple of minutes, okay? So great, yeah, looks installation completed. So it takes a couple of minutes actually. So let's be patient when you are trying it. Then here, I think I can run this get module, then list available name name az if i run this i think it should list that okay you see that that means az module that is azure powershell module is installed successfully okay so we are able to see that now okay now here if i if if by any chance if you guys face an issue when you are installing it then uh, you try to get the execution policy by running this command so let me show you this so copy paste this command. This will give the execution policy available in your system. By any chance, if it is not remote signed, if it is restricted or something, then try to execute this another command. You see that set execution policy, then for the execution policy parameter, remote signed scope is current user. Try to execute this command. This, this will set the execution policy on your system that will allows indirectly to start the installation process as well okay so if you face issue otherwise no need okay uh, then once you completed this uh, azure powershell module installation uh, then you are good to use that powershell module completely and explore all the commands available in it to work with azure resources okay uh, the first step will be always we have to connect to azure first right we have azure powershell in our local now from this Azure PowerShell, we have to connect to Azure, right? So to connect it, we need to uh, authenticate it, right? So for that, we need to use this connect az account command and uh, you can connect first and then you can do the other tasks. So how to do that? So here, right, I can simply type connect hyphen az account, okay? So when I hit enter, right, now the local PowerShell, which has this az PowerShell installed in my system, will try to start authenticate myself. You can see that it opened the browser automatically and in the browser, it will ask you to uh, select the credentials or enter the credentials. And once you select them, you are good to go. Your sign in will completed. And from that moment, from that Azure console, from that PowerShell console, you can go ahead and work with your commands uh, to interact with Azure resources. Okay, so you see that we have successfully connected now. So that's done. So. I hope you guys understand uh, how to work with uh, Azure PowerShell uh, and how to install the Azure PowerShell locally. Uh, in from our next video, we will try to do some activity in the Azure uh, using this PowerShell, using this AZ module. And thank you for watching this entire video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more similar kind of videos. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.